this could be the end to end all end screens. I'm just saying. Hey YouTubers, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with another tip for the tube. For all you guys out there who's always wanted to build and make your own end screens, YouTube is now handling that for you. Handle your business, YouTube. Get it done. That's right. YouTube is now making end screens available for YouTube partners. And I'm going to show you exactly how to work with the tool to get those beautiful end screens you always been looking for. Let's jump off into YouTube and make it happen. All right, YouTubers, here we are in YouTube. At the time of this video was put out, the end screen feature was in a beta status. What that means to you is by the time you watch this video, some of the features could have changed, but hopefully everything is the same and you're good to go. All right, so I am on one of my channels that has the beta feature for the end screen available to you. So I'm gonna give you that sneak peek at how to use it. First thing you wanna do is go up to your channel icon and left click on that. Then you wanna to go to Creator Studio. And then you wanna to go to Video Manager. This gives you access to all of the videos on your uh, channel. And what you can do next is you can click on the edit button. And up here near the top, you'll see end screen and annotations. And as you can see for my channel right now, it's in beta. So click on that. And I'm going to close out this little message here. Now the screen looks very similar to the card screen and that's because basically the end screen features help you be able to get past the use of annotations where people are watching your videos on a mobile device, tablet, smartphone, things like that. Basically what this means is that annotations when in your end cards, when you use annotations for your end card that you make yourself and they show up at the end of the video, those can't be clicked on when you're using a mobile device. But when you're using cards, or you're using this end screen feature, people can click on the links and they can click on the video, they can click on all the little graphics, even when they're on a mobile device. So this is great for people who are viewing on their cell phones or viewing on their tablets to get you more interaction and more engagement with your videos. It's really easy to use. So the first thing you gotta know is that end card feature right now is only available for the last 20 seconds of your video. This may change in the future. Like I said, it's in a beta status right now. Uh, you can move things around once you get them into the box, but they can only be contained within this blue box. And you cannot change the size of this blue box right now. Like I said, things might change. So you can go ahead and have a, a grid on here, snap to grid or snap to elements. I can remove all of these things. I like to keep all these things here so I can see where everything will be placed. Um, if you have a specific uh, end card that you, or end screen that you already made from a different video, you can import it from the other video and you don't have to worry about making it every time you do a video. You could just import your old end screens from other videos, which saves you a lot of time. But in this circumstance, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add element and this looks just like the cards. So I can choose to add a video, a subscribe button, which shows the icon or logo for my channel. I can choose to promote another channel, or I can choose to include a link from an approved website. So I'm gonna click on create next to video or playlist. 
and then I get to choose between three different options. The most recent upload, uh, what's best for the viewer based on what they've been looking at on YouTube, or I could choose a specific video or playlist. Now, I like choose what's best for the viewer because it's gonna choose what's best for them based on my channel and my video. So it'll keep them in the channel and watching my channel video. So I'm gonna select best for viewer. And then I'm gonna click on create element. Now here I can go ahead and move this video anywhere within this blue bounding box where I want it to show up. So I'm gonna move it down here on the bottom left. And I'm gonna click add element again. And this time I'm gonna choose a subscribe uh, button for my channel. So I'm gonna click on create. And you get the preview of what that button's gonna look like when someone hovers over it, they'll have the option to click on it to subscribe to my channel. Now I can also go ahead and preview. If you like the content in this video, hit the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. If you got questions, you need help, or you just got a tutorial request, leave me a comment below. And don't forget, smash the subscribe button if you want to get Power Director Love like this every other Saturday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Okay, so you saw the preview. If you want to change anything, you can actually have these different elements coming onto the screen at different times. Like I said, it can only show for the last 20 seconds of the video, but if I wanted the uh, best for viewer video option to show up after, I could move this over to a different time and it would start at a different time. Hit the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. If you got questions, you need help, or you just got a tutorial request, leave me a comment below. And don't forget, smash the subscribe and don't forget this video. Hit the thumb. And so you see that you can do that with whatever elements you have on here. You can change those timings on those. So that's really cool that you can do that. Now, once you get all of your elements selected and you change up all your timings and do all the things that you want, all you got to do is click on save. And it will tell you that all changes are saved and you have a great end card for your videos. All right, YouTubers, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. It means the world to me. If you like the content in this video, then go ahead and hit the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. If you got any questions, concerns, tutorial requests, hit me off in the comments below. And if you want to see more YouTube goodness like this every other Saturday, smash the subscribe button and I'll be there giving it to you. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.